What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about the £5 per day Facebook ad strategy. If you've been in the dropshipping game for a while or you've been doing your research, you've probably seen other people talk about it. Um, if not, then the idea is that you can test an audience adequately using only a £5 budget per day. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed. We're at 110 subscribers now, which is amazing. Um, I'm thinking about doing some sort of special video or a giveaway or some sort of competition. I'm not really sure what to do though, so I'd love to hear if you guys got any ideas. If you have, then just leave a comment below. That being said then, let's get into the video. Five pound Facebook ad strategy then, does it work? And the answer is yes, it does, but only when used correctly. Now, before we get started in this, before I start going into detail, I just wanna say I'm talking from my own experiences here. Everyone has their own opinion on this. I've had successes using this strategy, I've had failures using this strategy, and from what I'm about to say is purely what I've experienced and what I what my take is on this. So and on. So what it shouldn't be used for then, point one is long-term strategy. Now, the reason I put this is because if you want to make some decent money in dropshipping, then you've got to be spending more than five pounds per day. And when it comes to monitoring your results and doing your research and analyzing the numbers to make any decent money you're gonna to have to be spending five six seven a thousand pound a day and it's just not practical to have well let's say we're spending 500 pound a day you'll need a hundred ad sets and it's just not practical to look through that many ad sets on a daily basis and work out what's going wrong or what's going right so in terms of a long-term strategy and spending five pound per day, if I had a choice of having a hundred ad sets at five pound per day or one ad set at five hundred pound a day, then I know which one I'm going to choose every time. And there's another reason behind this as well, and that is, this is advice that comes from Facebook themselves, and that is that an ad set needs a minimum, a bare minimum, of fifty conversions per week for your ad set to optimize efficiently. So if we're spending five pounds per day and we need 50 conversions per week, that equals 7.14 conversions per day, divided by five pound and it's about 70p per action. CPA is cost per action. So if your goal is purchases, then your cost per purchase needs to be at 70p. And if you're not achieving that, then your ad set is not gonna be optimized and you're not gonna be spending your money efficiently. So, that's coming from Facebook themselves as well. That's not me saying that. That's what Facebook say. So it makes more sense to be spending enough money to hit that 50 conversion per week mark. So moving on then, new pixels, testing large audiences. This is the number one reason I think of why beginners struggle or fail when using the five pound strategy. And that's because Oh, I've got my ad manager open here just so I can show you really. So before we put in our interests, make sure, if you're just starting out, make sure you always untick this box. Uh, just a little tip because Facebook, it, if you untick that, then it means Facebook will only use the interests and the targeting that you've specified. If you leave that ticked, then it means Facebook can go and show your ad to whoever they like if they think they're going to convert. So to keep a track of what you're doing and measure how well you you are at picking an audience just make sure you leave that unticked so we're going to put this at five pound per day we're going to scroll back up to our targeting so let's say we're just starting out and we're in the dog niche so we'll put dogs dogs in here And let's say we're a bit naive and we choose to just keep that as our targeting. So potential reach then is 13 million, potentially the size of this audience or the people we specified, there's 13 million people on that list. We're only spending five pounds per day and it has an estimated daily results or reach of 560 to 3,400 people. So let's say best case scenario, and we reach that 3,400 mark. If we go on to a calculator here, and what I'm gonna do now is just work out the percentage of that potential audience that we're gonna reach. So 3,400 divided by 13 million. 
can see 3400 divided by 13.23123 times that by 100 then so 0.03% if we round that up and to show an ad to 0.03% of an audience is just not an accurate representation of whether that's a good audience or not. If you're selling dog products to the dog niche, then there's going to be people in there that want to buy your product. But to show to show it to 0.03% of that audience, you might get all of those people might not be interested. So I hope you try, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here is that it's just not an accurate representation of the audience you're targeting. So you need to flex this down to a lot smaller numbers. If you're spending five pound a day, then stick to audiences that are 50 to 100K so you can get an idea of what interests are effective or not. So they're the reasons then of what it shouldn't be used for. Let's have a look at what it should be used for. So point one then, PPE ads or post page engage engagement ads. Um, these are most commonly used for building social proof in your ad for building likes, shares, comments, those sorts of things, just because the more of those things your ad or your post has, then just the more legit it looks and it just builds the social proof so people are more likely to click on it and trust you and buy from you. Go ahead and spend as much as you like then on engagement ads. Aim for one people engagement as well. That might sound quite difficult to achieve, but it's actually easier than you think. So if you're not achieving that or somewhere close, then forget that audience and just move on. Next one then, retargeting ads when you first get started. In fact, I've done a video on this where I show you guys how to set up custom audiences. So I'll put a link in one of the corners. But uh, when you first get started, your list will only have probably 50, 100, 200 people on it. So as we can see here, spending five pound can get you up to three and a half thousand people. So if you've got less than that, then you're going to be paying to show those people the same ad two or three times a day. And you might start getting negative feedback and people blocking you. So just be wary of that one. And then the third one, optimize pixels, testing large audiences. So if if you're getting that 50 conversions per week, then feel free to go ahead and use five pound per day, even on large audiences up to up to a million just because your pixel will be optimized they'll know what your customers look like so it will be better at picking people to show your ad to because it will understand who your customer is um, so there are the three points of what I should use for and that's my take on five pound per day Facebook ad strategy uh, just to summarize it all then because I have talked quite a lot um, there is quite a lot to take in there but to summarize if you've got a new pixel and you're starting out spending five pounds per day, then just keep your target audience between 50 and 100k uh, just so you can learn what interests are effective. And then if you've got a mature pixel, so you, you've been advertising for a while and you're achieving over those 50 conversions per week, then you're, you're safe to use five pounds per day at any time. So that's it for this video then guys. That's my take on the five pound Facebook ad strategy. Hopefully you found some value in there. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And obviously any questions at all as well, leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to help. I'm interested to know your thoughts on this as well. If you agree or even if you disagree, make sure you let me know down below. I'm always open to hearing people's comments and opinions on things. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button button if you want to see more and see you in the next one.